Have you been in contact with Tariq? Did he tell you that? This is the last time you lied to me. That's you? Yeah, man. I went from a BMW to a push, huh? They don't want the keys to your ride. <laughs> did you see who did this? It was Tariq. Nigga, what? What's up, Power fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about Lauren's biggest mistake before leaving with her parents, the mistake identity that might hit two beat, how Tariq can still control Norma amidst the war, and if Monet will believe it was Tariq who shot at her or not. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now let's get straight into the topics. Now, Lauren found herself in situations she couldn't control from the ending of season two and season three. After Tariq found out she was still alive, there has been series of communications between them such as calls, text messages, and meetups, etc. What Lauren wanted for herself is her freedom and to get back to her family. But in power, freedom always has a price. It turns out that for Lauren to be free from all this, she has to pretend nothing happened to her. She will have to lie about the attempted murder on her. Now, Laura has made another tough decision to burn Jenny in front of the grand jury. Question is, will Jenny take the L the second time again after what Braden did to her when he took the stand in court with regards to cause correct? Now, before I come to that, Lauren is the second person to play Jenny to the fence after working so hard on a case. So, what will make Jenny want to look deeper into Lauren moving forward? Have you been in contact with Tariq? Did he tell you that? Of course not. She doesn't know that. After Lauren lied about the whole case in front of the jury, Jenny will now conclude that Lauren has been in contact with Tariq behind her back. This might be where Jenny will start digging into Lauren more. Even though Medina stated that they should drop the case, we all know Jenny is not the type that gives up just like that. And we saw what she exhibited after Tariq and Braden case in season 2. Now, let's look at some of the errors Lauren made that can possibly blow back on her and Tariq. Now, all the calls and text messages between she and Tariq has already been established. Now, what hasn't been established was whether Lauren cleared all the text messages and the core histories from the phone she was using. Now, just before Lauren leaves with her parents, Tariq tested her again checking up. As the civilian as she is, the writers need to get her to make a civilian mistake if I may put it that way. So what did she do? She put the phone in their bin and left it there. Now, mind you, this same house is accessible to Jenny and coming here can be possible. Ideally, Lauren's story should end when she left town with her parents to possibly start a new life. But the writers need to have a tail on her to be able to draw her back into the show. Hence, this huge mistake she has made by leaving the phone behind. Now, if Jenny decides to snooze and search this house, trust me, she will find this phone easily. And she will see all the call history and text messages between Lauren and Tariq. Now, what Jenny will do now is to bend both Lauren and Tariq together since she played her before the jury. And Lauren can be charged with perjury, same thing Jenny was warning her about. So this phone, I believe, will drag Lauren back into the show and Jenny will try every means to drag Lauren as well. Unless, of course, Jenny gives up on her failed Rico kiss. But I do believe Jenny will not give up just like that, especially after knowing that Lauren was compromised. She might use this phone against Lauren or possibly blackmail her for information against Tariq. Now, how else can Jenny play this situation when she finds this phone? Jenny can impersonate Lauren using the phone. What do I mean? If Jenny finds this phone, the smart thing she can do is to keep chatting with Tariq as if it was Lauren. If she does that in a very smart way, she can get a lot of information from Tariq and on Tariq as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section if you also think this phone Lauren left in the bin will blow back on her or not. Now let's move on to 2 bit and the car that he took from Tariq. Now we all know Tariq was working all his life until he recently got himself a car. Now this car was introduced in the presence of one of the Taharas which is Drew. Listen I was a black man walking before he started working for Noma right? What did you talk about? <laughs> now fast forward Tariq lost his car to 2 bit 
Then there is a beginning of a war between the Taharis and Tariq. What the Taharis don't know is that 2Bit owns Tariq's car now. Now question is, is 2Bit in danger moving forward? I guess so because if any of the Taharis sees Tariq's car, they might want to tail him and probably shoot at him and the car just like it was done to Monet. If this happens and I'm the writer, what I'll do is to keep 2Bit alive despite the shooting and it will be a great way to bring 2Bit into the war. The moment this happens, 2Bit will know that it was someone who is after Tariq, so he will make sure he finds Tariq and when he finds Tariq, he will tell him how the Taharis were after him. Then 2Bit will also want to fight back because of how he was nearly killed. This way, 2Bit will have a reason to join Tariq, fight the war. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about this. Now let's move on to how Tariq can take control over Noma and miss the war. Turns out Noma's daughter isn't even a kid anymore. She's our age and she's attending NYU. This is the name address, social media so you could track. I don't even think that she knows that her mom is a criminal. It's like Noma kept her lives completely separate. Tariq finally knows Noma's daughter, her face, he knows her social media handles as well. Now, Noma might move her daughter to safety, but she can't move her social media handle. Now, this will be a buy-in for Tariq. I have a feeling Tariq might reach out to Noma's daughter via any social media platform, probably make friends with her and win her over. Because as he stands now, we can all agree that Tariq is single. If Tariq manages to make Norman's daughter fall for him, that will be his leverage over Norma. Her daughter will become her weak link. Now remember, Tariq is after power now. He wants control, the same control Norma has. Look, I just need money. You know that power, that, that power that makes you literally untouchable, that shit that Norma has. So Norma's daughter will be the best point for Tariq to use to have control over Norma. Because clearly, Norma loves her daughter and will not allow anything bad happening to her. Norma is in charge of even the Taharis now. So to be able to control Norma to control the Taharis, he needs to get her where it will hurt them more, which is her daughter. So Tariq having control over Norma's daughter means having control over Norma and the Taharis. Mind you, Norma's daughter doesn't know the business her mother is into and for whatever reason, Norma might not want her daughter to know the dark side of her. If this happens to be the case, then Tariq will have control over Norma by using her daughter as a bait. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now let's talk about Monet. I believe only Monet will want to understand why she was hit before making moves on whoever did that. As we speak, Monet doesn't know Tariq has anything to do with the shooting until her children tell her so. Now, the first question Monet will need an answer for is why Tariq wanted to kill her. The answer is she sent Tommy after his mother. Now, Tariq approached Monet with the same concern and she denied it. So here is how Monet is going to think. If Tariq was sure she did that, he had different ways to take her out. This shootout also looks unplanned and unlike Tariq, knowing how smart he is. I feel Monet will not be convinced Tariq will make such a reckless move on her. She is going to put two and two together and she will know her children set her up. The second question Monet will ask herself is how come Diana was able to see the shooter and she, Monet, couldn't see the shooter whilst they were all sitting in front. In my opinion, Monet is not going to easily believe this Tariq shooting her story. Now, what else can Monet think of? If Tariq is saying she, Monet, sent Tommy to kill his mother and his mother is in Witsek, it means her location has been compromised. This also means that if Tariq knows this information, so does his mother. Monet might also be quick to figure out that only Tasha can be brave but reckless enough to shoot at her. She will know that this person acted desperately and seemed hasty about killing her. If this was Tariq, as much as Monet knows him to be, he would have planned it very well, take his time to get her at the right place and at the right time before killing her. So I believe Monet might not fully buy this idea that Tariq was the one who shot at her. This will become a puzzle for Monet to fix alone knowing what she did to Lorenzo and the potential of her children doing the same thing to her. I don't know what you think but this is what I think. I think Monet is not going to buy this idea straightforward that it was Tariq who tried to kill her. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn your notification bell to get notified on my next video, like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.